Vegan Crab Rangoon with two variations. This is a recipe I worked up the other week. It's basically, uh, you have your cream cheese substitute, which in this case I'm using uh, two different types. One is a cashew and walnut, and it gives it a purple cast. And I've used some almond milk and some spices in there. I'll put the recipe down below. And the other is a tofu and cashew uh, cream cheese with the exact same spice mix. There are plenty of different cream, uh, vegan cream cheese recipes online, uh, but this is my take on it. Once you have the right flavor to act as a base, uh, it's just a matter of texture from there on out. So I've added in uh, hearts of palm, which I've diced up, uh, diced onion, and, uh, nori, and laber, which is uh, a spice toasted seaweed that you find at uh, Asian markets. Uh, that'll give us our uh, the flavor of the sea. And then uh, the hearts of palm will give us the texture. Uh, diced onions, diced garlic, uh, a little bit of sesame seed, uh, and that's basically it. Because uh, those elements form that texture that you expect with crab rangoon. And then the, the filling's gonna be hot, so it's gonna steam. It's gonna soften the ingredients so they meld together. Overall, it's rather simple. I mean, the one thing that's been stopping me from going you know, full vegan is cheese. Um, and, you know, this is one of my favorite recipes on the face of the planet uh, for cheese. So uh, maybe I'm that much closer now. Who knows? The dumpling dough uh, that we're going to be using, I've, it's basically the, uh, the noodle dough I made uh, before. Uh, but I'll put that recipe down below uh, also. It's basically a 40, in this case, it's 43% hydration dough, which is a little bit easier to work with than a 40. It's basically just the same thing. It's just uh, salt, flour, and water. Uh, it's not, not that hard. I'm gonna be doing a separate video on the cream cheeses, but I'll put the recipe down below in the description. I'm going to be chopping the hearts of palm here a little bit um, coarser than I did the onions and the garlic. Uh, just the texture difference. Alright, so we are ready to start.
I just made a simple dipping sauce, a little bit of orange juice, some Thai chili sauce, and some soy sauce. Uh, nothing too fancy. I think for this, a, a thicker sauce would be better. Uh, so maybe mix in a little bit of gochujang. All right, this is the cashew and soy. And it's extremely hot. Success. So overall it came out with about two dozen. I uh, gave a bunch to my neighbors. Uh, they liked them. Uh, of these two, I think uh, adding the agar agar uh, to the soy and cashew one, uh, it firmed it up too much. Uh, it would be more like a soft feta rather than a cream cheese in texture. Uh, of, of the two, the walnut and cashew mix was probably the best. Anyway, thanks for making it this far in the video. Uh, if you could, like and subscribe. It really helps out. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.